Welcome to Multinode Design. We are starting another project entirely, which is going to be mixed use development. So, what do I mean by mixed use development is that we are going to have a, a duplex by one side, then one bedroom flat on the two other sides. So, it's going to be a, a story building that is going to evolve around the great development. So we are starting and let me give you the preamble of what I'm talking about. This is the, the orientation part of what I'm saying. At this level, we have a duplex at this side, and this side is going to be we have a, uh, what, do, what do we call it? So we have uh, it, one, one unit of uh, one bedroom, which is going to be four. Okay, so I designed during my a little bit of my absence on YouTube, I designed this one for my clients and I'll be continuing essentially with a permanent aspect of what I'm using. So I want to bring this to bear to let everybody learn to this level. <coughs> I should work towards how it could be developed and see the permanent side of these developments that we started. So let's move on to the complete A. So I have uh, my, this is actually the way the site looks like so i'm going to use this particular site to do that so how do you bring this site to ref it this is what i want to do now so what to do go to your level one that's where i want to do the main work so i'm going to click and there and say okay insert so where is insert insert so pdf import pdf file so i, I think i saved that on desktop so i'm going to go to desktop and search for the site so i'm bringing it in so so this is what i've done and it's here now the issue is that it's come in the form of image which is okay the problem is i don't have the dimension and all options so according to what the client sent me later and this is like 22 meter and 22 meter by 22 meter by this side then this side is 20 meter but this one is up around uh, 11 or 12 meter so that is what i want to work on from here so how do I do that? I start with a plane line. This is what we did annotation. So detail annotation will help me to move myself <coughs> to half for for define the first twenty two thousand. So which is this? So the next one will be the vertical twenty two thousand as well. Twenty two thousand on the vertical side. So press. So that's we are getting it done. So at this level, we are getting like 14,000. Then move this one, then join this one. So by the time you look at it, the shape is formed. So that's exactly what we want. We can expand it to meet up with the requirement and see that the scale according to what you have in your whole build board. So if it's not accordingly, you can decide to refashion your work towards that so if you see the way the team bent and let me just do these two adjustments so that it look fitted and well arranged so this one can just like help you to know the next thing the next kind of action of what you are doing so you suggest this to a bit good so i think that is just it's not a polish uh, surface plan so i have this one and i've deleted that i don't need them again so I want to focus my attention on this one now with this side. So we are starting the first floor. So what we we'll do next is to click the offset by offsetting this one, giving the offset from the back side. So three thousand. So three thousand by this side. So leave this side because it's bent. So my rotation may not be developed towards that level. So I'm going to work on this particular one. So after which I've done this one, what next do I need? The only thing I need now is to work with my work. So click on the work and start projecting your work because you have already been defined. Now I use an assistant template which I've already gotten on this one. So I want to adjust my my wall so that I'm going to have a good wall uh, category. So what I do is that my wall is since set this one. So I'm adjusting this. So I'm going to change this to 2 to 5, it's at 9 inches, 2 to 5, so we click OK. After which this is done, the next thing I need to do is to start working on the plane level of floor. 
So I'm going to create everything like this. So this is the first line of sheet work. Good. So I'm going to define this one. First, draw this one down. So something like uh, maybe like five to give me that peak of fill. So I'm going to do that. So I'm creating this one into like two. So I'm still going to go further and increase it. So let me just see my justice for now because it's not going to work. I have so many things to do at this juncture. So I'm adjusting this one to fit the shooting. So what are those things that I need here? First, I need dining to be somewhere. So I click on this and create dining on this side. So do not mind the way my computer is from this building. So it's getting old, which I need no money to buy nothing. So forgive me for that. So I just need to tell you first, I have to be sincere with this way I'm doing. So I've done this one now. So what you need now do again with this one. So when we're done with this. So the next one, I'll do this. And so something is there, but it's not telling me. I'm sure I'm going to separate so now I'm fit tight. Okay, I think it's okay. So I've gotten this one in place, which is my so I need to work on this step or maybe the staircase. So I don't I'm not creating staircase for now. I just want to see that space is required and it's set up. So this one is set. So I have this in place. So the next thing is that I need to pay the leave this one for now. If you already used to get what you need on the east side or the back and everywhere. So there are no money in it. So what I need mean now is that I draw this one down. So I move it to somewhere here. So I still maintain the same alignment with this. So I'm pushing this up all because now the car owner needs to park. And that is another objective for what we are designing. So while they will park, you need to think of that. How many cars the owner need to park because the gate and everything need to be subjected to part of the design process. So here I've done this one. So I'm going to this, <coughs> this one by selecting it. Mm -hmm. Then break it, break this one to break it. So I have until which I need to create, and which is this particular cell. So the until is of this level. So bring this a bit down. Then I just this to close this down. So this is until. So from there now we need to create the level playing feed for entrance to the unit so after which i've done this one i see this a bit inside so this one will serve as mine so now let me just tidy up this the best side for now so i'm giving this one let's say this is just 1100 good so the done is there the the stair is there so i have that this is the kitchen which is okay so you can decide to bring it down but now absolutely be late for what the design we are doing here so that is the door for that escape you can decide to bring it this is tall this on this one is what we call let's divide this into two because the visitor to that was not just open to uh, an until because it's kind of exposed so you can adjust this one a bit and then click this and say pressing now so let's it as the adjustment as well so we're done with the flat side so no matter what the case may be this is just the beginning of what we are going to be doing for in this week so stay tuned for followers one after the other so this is one of the physical projects we have done in the recent time. So I want everybody to follow this procedure 
and watch it accurately. So I think this, this is a kitchen. This is you can bring the annotation. So you should to uh, send that for those uh, engagements with the thinking faculty of wherever you want to position things. So this is kitchen. So this is the anterior. You can do it for uh, so component door. So if I can check the door, it's okay for me. I think I see one. And that's okay. So I'm using the double door as an entrance door for the main bits. So I'm done with this. So that is this. Let me focus on this side now. This is one by doing flat. One by doing flat is going to have a room. And now we are writing that we need to have three pieces to the room to the top. So the step is going to be somewhere around this side. So let me click this and say okay, similar. So we are creating this one. Upload. So let's see. We have this in place. So which is something like here. Yeah. System. So the next is that we are bringing this down. This to do this one here. We click OK. So the next is that we are bringing into let this have this one as a step case for for the work to move on. So we create that as a staircase issue with the, the orientation of which is coming from outside and inside we never know yet so this one should come up mm -hmm. almost to this level i think so i think that will be okay so select this one again select this and pin it here so as you are done with that you can just add this one and say Then let's this door here. Then let's this door here. So this is the kitchen for the self content. So that is that is so this one is there, it's table. So we have the toilet at the back. This is going to serve a big purpose for first visitor. On the house phone so you click here and so this that you can get you can later adjust this one so this thing we are going to teach you if you follow everything step by step so this is the orientation of what we have designed so i'm going to create a temporary floor which i may later delete and not delete it any longer so i will select this one and start pasting it around if more faster much better so i'm still going to edit it because it's not picking the side of uh, of guys that i wanted to pick up let me just do this to talk to you do it here now and then request it let's escape i'm doing this here now then request it so you can't do this by say the slab has been created. You see me with the requirement of what we want as a standard for most people who are working towards this. So select this one now, place it on close the chapter. Good. So I have this one in place. So I'm going to click finish. But when I far, let me just trim this. Then trim this one. Trim this one. So that the one will be interlocking with it. So click finish. So now that is it. So here now we have living room, dining, kitchen, pantry. So the same way, entrance, living room, store, kitchen, and then the next one, which is a. Uh, that is for the toilet and bath. This is going to be general for that one. So we've done this farm. We will expect what we expect to nice to follow us again. We're going to continue to develop to the next level. Try as much as possible to be consistent with the way we are designed. We're going to learn a lot of things in this project. So let's say I just want to build a temporary engagement of what I've undertaken. So 
so let me go with this one first so leave me leave me with with dining with steering with kitchen with the nantiru So the same thing will happen here. You just need to copy this, copy the kitchen and copy the room. So copy here and bring it here. Since it's what you have here, it's what you have there too. You can make use of this one. And two, you can just see this one, just click to do the anti. So click here, then page kitchen. So that is it for this aspect. So see you in the next tutorial. Do not forget to practice on your own normal basis about this. So you'll be able the more you do, the more you understand.